stock markets in the United States turned around uh, yesterday afternoon after the uh, December minutes from the last meeting in the Federal Reserve was uh, published. These minutes uh, show that uh, there are uh, starting to be a big skepticism uh, inside the Federal Reserve Board regarding then continued monetary easing. That uh, was a shock for the market and uh, uh, the stock markets which have had the very good development over the last two days started to turn around. It was a lot of profit taking and both Dow Jones and Nasdaq ended in negative territory. We saw the same development in Asia this morning where then the, uh, uh, the uh, Pacific Asian uh, index turned around down 0.1% after reaching a 19-month high yesterday. Uh, we also see a weaker development in the stock markets in Europe today. The most dramatic changes has nevertheless taken place in the currency markets. The dollar has strengthened substantially uh, on the news that it might be uh, an end to the monetary uh, easing in uh, 2013, which means that the Federal Reserve would not use the printing press. That is, of course, uh, playing up to the dollar as a reserve currency once again and diminishes uh, the upside for risk assets as, for instance, the euro and other smaller currencies. The euro has fallen dramatically from 132.85 uh, for two days ago. It's trading now at uh, very close to 130. We have seen the same development in other commodity currencies. The Scandinavian currencies, for instance, uh, uh, led by the Norwegian crown, is now trading 1.5% lower than it did earlier in the week. Uh, also, the commodities are falling. Uh, gold and silver have been uh, especially uh, hard hit. Gold has been in free fall over the last, uh, last 24 hours and is now down to 16.42 uh, after reaching 16.95 earlier in the week. Uh, silver has had a similar very negative development. Uh, I wish traders a very good uh, weekend and a good trading day today from United World Capital and Cyprus.